I don't know really what that Stephen means when he says Robert. that. And count down. Three, two, one. And we're live! Larry, you took my line, motherfucker. Wow. Joking. Sorry. I'm joking there. Samuel L. Jackson, host of tonight's show. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I Poor guy, it's Larry knows Christmas I love him. in two weeks. Larry knows I love him. Right. Welcome hey. to the show. Motherfuckers. Babe. Sorry. Watch your language. Okay. Okay, welcome. Thank you for coming. <laughs> That's what she said. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Um, so we have a very exciting show. But before we get into it, thoughts on mm. cheesecake? being more like a pie than a cake. I don't understand. Don't like it's called cheesecake. Okay. But it's more like a pie. You've had it with a flaky pastry top? No, but just like the the whole like small I just it's, what do you mean, small? I don't, it's weird. Pie, pie has crust. Is that the whole definition of I think pie that, versus cake? I think the cake? difference between a cheesecake and a pie is a top layer of crust. No, pumpkin pie doesn't have a top layer. Oh, that's fair. Thank you. Okay. So you're sticking to cheesecake should be a I, cake. I'm not sure why you think cheesecakes look like pies now. I don't know. It's just you something I've been thinking of. to this topic with old rotund huh. Mike. Larry, Lawrence. how do you feel about cheesecake? Do you feel like it's more like a cake than a, like a, more of a cake, not a pie? I don't know why you're thinking this. I don't know this. why. You don't even order cheesecake. I love cheesecake. No, before one you last one wait, ordered. sorry. Before, before I came before, along. Before you came along. Sixteen years ago. Anyways, continue. No, before you came along, mm -hmm. I would have cheesecake every single birthday. Before we, we get were into both chubby more... when we were young, eh? Yeah. Yeah, we were chubby well, tells. I'm still there. Little but... pound cakes we were. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because we had cheesecake. This fat little fuckers we were. We really were. Yeah. If you look at old photos of us, yeah. Like, just chunky monkeys. We were meant to be. So if we're going to be so fat together when we're older. <laughs> you know, we're on route right now. We're going to wash each I other mean, rags on a stick. It'll Ew. Be Why? That'd be nice. Oh my God. 23 kids running around. Okay. So super pumped for super tonight's pumped. show. Um, I, I'm always excited about all guests that we have coming on. Okay. But I'm exceptionally excited tonight. Because you both wore leather? Maybe. Okay. Um, but no, this is our first comedian. Yeah. And I love funny people. Yeah. I think I'm quite funny. You do think that. <laughs> I I'm, I'm the one laughing at most of my jokes. You do, yeah. Um, I'm there for it. So, without further ado. I'm excited. Born in Hamilton, but now internationally famous. Please welcome Eric Johnston to the uh... show! <laughs> Don't Hi. knock over the lights. How How's it going? Hey, Jason Statham, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm going to sit in an angle which I don't have six chins. And it's tough on here. You just do that. Let me tell you. Do the shoulder thing. I got to grow beards and then I just. Well, that's, but that's yeah. what I do. My it chins. actually gave me a chin by growing I was going to say. I didn't have a chin. I before. couldn't picture you without a beard and it, I can picture you. It's, it's, it's very like he looks like a 12 year old boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like right now, you look like you hunt. But if you didn't, if you didn't have a beard, you'd look Wait, like. Wait, is that because of the sweater? Oh, I, I didn't even see it. <laughs> you didn't even see it. Camouflage. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. It was funny because I, I forgot to ask you before we started if we could swear on this thing. Oh yeah. And then you guys opened the show with "Welcome to the show, <laughs> motherfuckers." Right. <laughs> so I was like, I guess we're free to swear. Yeah. Christian season, yeah. but not yeah. here. I got. It's a lot of beeps that I put in. Sometimes if I get around to it, and other times it's just. For all I like that. I've been on things where they off, they beat me, and then eventually they just get tired of it, and yeah, then I just swear for the rest like, of the They're like, fuck it. I like to actually mess with the beeps. Feel free to throw it out there. It's watching it beep. Fuck! I might Sorry. not pick that up. I don't know. It'll I'm going to have to pay, Eric, I'm gonna have to pay you Larry you extra. You really know how to do the short beeps, so yeah. why give you a long <laughs> fuck? You're like, I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. No. Uh, you guys should be in a band, I think. Like, I think so. Ooh. We're almost like matching. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Um, well, you got I some just, pins going on here. Yeah, I got, uh, I got a Hamilton, Hamilton 82. <laughs> like that one. I was in a Banff uh, doing a show oh. at the Banff Springs Hotel recently, and uh, <laughs> some guy from Kentucky or something was in Banff, and he's like, he got to get in the elevator, I'm wearing this jacket, and he's like, Hamilton hates you too. <laughs> He goes, that's nice. <laughs> and I go, it's a neighborhood thing. 
And I was like in Hamilton. He's like, sir, I don't know what Hamilton is. And I was like, okay, well, have a nice day. And then he just got out of the thing. And then I have a pin that says, I'm a, I'm a friend of Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah, oh. I saw that. Right? I like that. That's pretty cool. So, you know, have you seen the movie The Irishman with De Niro, oh, Pesci, no. written by Morton Scorsese? No, we talked about this on the prior episode. Have you seen it? Yeah. He's so it's seen a great, everything. It's, oh, it's, I've seen it's nothing. It's an okay movie. That's why I bring it's him on okay the show. It's movie. That's, what they yeah. tried to do was just do Goodfellas Could've today. Um, but the men are all in their 80s now, yeah, so it's just old. awkward. Yeah. And then they tried to like reverse CGI them. Oh. It's a strange <laughs> look. Didn't yeah, work who out was so trying well? to be young in that? Was it De Niro? De Niro. And there's a scene <laughs> trying to make where him he has to like beef a guy. So one of the most iconic scenes in the movie Goodfellas, I've seen it a couple times, probably seven hundred. Yeah, yeah, so have I. Yeah. He's kicking Billy Bats in the bar. You know when he comes back and says, "Go get your fucking shine box." I'll come go back to you. Get your uh, fucking shine box. <laughs> yes, everybody. <laughs> and he's they're kicking yeah, him. There's yeah. an iconic scene of De Niro kicking Billy Bats. Yeah. Anyways, they tried to recreate that in The Irishman, but. Uh, but De Niro was like 80 now, so they, they did a scene and he's like, <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. They couldn't have got a, like and a double in no, there No, they for should him. have. They could have literally yeah. done He's like, no, I'll do it myself. Yeah, he wanted his pride of like his returning moment kicking someone. Yeah. Uh, but they just added like these weird sound effects of like, Tuh. <laughs> Tuh. And it was one of the worst things in cinematic history. Um, anyways. I was so on, who is this guy? So, uh, sorry, Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> we're getting we're to that. the bases. <laughs> We're getting to Take that. that on home. Uh, home. The movie's based on Jimmy Hoffa running yeah. the unions, and he eventually he went missing. The mob killed him, oh. and he still has never been found. Oh. And when he was running for union leader, he had a pin that says, "I'm a friend of Jimmy Hoffa." Oh. Yeah. Now, cool. I was on tour in Detroit doing the Mark Ridley's Comedy oh. Castle. Oh, they like that. Yeah. So no, I, that's where they got the pin. Oh, okay. Some waitress came up to me because he was technically killed in Detroit, so they sell these. I'm a friend oh. of Jimmy Hoffa's. Uh, pins and some waitress came up to me. She goes, I found this on the floor, but by looking at your rings and your leather jacket, would love this. <laughs> something tells me that you would appreciate this. And I went, You're right. And then I immediately put on wow. my jacket. Thank you. And there it stays. Thank you. So, Lovely. Anyways, that's what Jimmy Pop. Okay, I'm going to have to look that up. Well, if yeah. you get a leather I like jacket, true crime. you get free buttons. Situations. Nice. If you're a leather jacket guy, people just can wait. Stuff. Sorry, was this, he didn't, act, like, this was in the movie. It He's not in, in actual. real life. And then was recreated in the movie. Oh, okay. So I can look this up on True Crime. Yes, stuff. Jimmy Hoffa. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. You don't know the Jimmy Hoffa story no. with all the true crime you watch. Ooh. I have not heard of it. Really? No. They don't okay. do many mafia type of. Yeah. I based my killings. life on pretending to be in More the mafia. More of like regular uh, yeah, humans. That, yeah. kind of Are you thing. Italian? No, I've also have made you a heard his name? In pretending that. My name Wait. is Eric Johnston. Um, <laughs> his name is Whitey McWhitey. It's not, <laughs> okay. it's not Johnstantini. Right. Um, <laughs> Eric Johnston. Eric like Johnston maybe. Yeah. Um, no, I grew up in Stony Creek. Mm. Not Stony so, Creek. Which is like, you're pretty much Italian. You had to basically pick a side. Tony, Tony Creek. Like in elementary school, there was like the Croatians, the Italians, and the whites. And the whites were very white. They're like, their dads wore pajamas to school to pick <laughs> them up. And then Tucker, Tommy. Cheese with, cheese yeah. with sandwiches. Yeah. Croatians were cool. Love cheese with sandwiches. I mean, I do too as a white, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Croatians. You know, like Croatians that. were Croatian. They're very like, Croatia. Yeah. Um, but yes. the Italians, they dress good. They smelled good. They had better lunches. Yeah. So I just went, I'm Gosh. with these guys. Yeah. And then I just kind of I based my entire life on that. Good lunch. Big I, sandwiches, probably. Some sandwich like, big with the white. Like, you look yeah. like a drywall taper after you have an <laughs> Italian sandwich. <laughs> and there's not much to an Italian sandwich. It's just bread and meat and cheese. Yeah. And that's it. Do you Wonderful. have um, Do you have TikTok? I do. Okay, I got to send you what I was watching last night. I sent it to you. It was just sandwich, sandwich. after sandwich. Oh, my God. Just Next level. There's a Anyways. guy called like something 60 sauces or something. He just shows you how to make all these different sauces. Uh, I follow him pretty intensely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big sauce guy. Me sauce too. Guy. Oh, I'm a saucy sauce. gal. Mm -hmm. Give me all the sauces. I don't even think you've asked me a question yet. You I'm wanna, sorry. Let's get into the show. No, Trust I you. actually wanna... much prefer this like easygoing <laughs> shit than that me like. That notebook is just intimidating. I'm like, what's in there? What do you got for No, me? what are your thoughts on Costco? Shopping at oh, Costco. Fuck. Don't bring up that place right now. Uh, my mom has a membership and I let her You're not buy a things. Okay. Because my mom, here's the thing, like, I lived in my mom's house for 32 years before I got engaged and moved out. Are you sure you're not my Italian? My God, me I, see, too. I was ready to stay as long as <laughs> yeah, I could. Like, it wasn't until I got engaged, I was like, oh, shit, that means I have to move out. That was me. <laughs> I was 31, too. I was 32 when I moved out. Yeah, you were. And it was like, you know, my fiance came with a house, so that was nice. Oh, uh, extra. There's a cat in the house, Perfect. which I'm still working on. I've got Lint. Uh, I hate, his name is Fred. I love the cat, but he's very hairy. Are um, you a cat or a dog person? I'm neither. 
Honestly? <laughs> not even. Not yeah. even. Me too. Look, who cares? I want but I feel like, house. I feel like because I'm not, like, I see the way people are to animals. Mm-hmm. And I'm not a horrible person, of course. Yeah. Like, I'm, I like to sometimes touch them, but not often. Yeah, yeah. But I just see, like, people that are just, like, they stop on the street. They're, like, distracted by a dog. And yeah, I'm just yeah. like, I wish I had that. And I just don't. Yeah. like my, I, my, I feel a bit missing something. My fiance's parents are dog people. Yeah. Like, they rescued a dog wow. from, like, the Middle East. Oh. And, like, they have a bumper. Did they go to the Middle East? No, they just no. shipped, they shipped the them over. Yeah. So, so, so Cairo? They, got a free, they, got a they free stole dog a dog from, from the Middle East. Yeah. Was it from Cairo? <laughs> Sorry. No, it was oh. from uh, one of the... Somewhere. Yeah, okay. Um, something along with that. Yeah, and yeah, something like that. And <laughs> anyways, but they have like a bumper sticker that's like, our dogs are rescue. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't rescue, they didn't rescue. Technically, every dog is a rescue. I mean, if you didn't yeah. take the dog inside, it would live on the streets. So you're, you know what I mean? You're also oh, stealing. Right. Yes. All dogs are rescues. What do you mean? You're stealing yeah. a dog. No, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. there's, it, I don't know it's, who's it's, joking. Yes, it's not mine. I've heard I'm not going to paint it off as my own. But when someone's like, kidnapping of a dog. Yeah, it's like, you know, like I'm a dog mom. It's like, no, you know whose dog, whose mom that dog is? It's mother who's a dog. Munchausen uh, syndrome. Or yeah, they called. just have the. They yeah. just get a Stockholm oh, syndrome. Stockholm. What did you say? Munchausen. 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 No, Munchausen. Munchausen by proxy. What's that? Yeah. Oh, that's when that's they keep them music. sick. That's, that's when they think you're sick. sick. Munchausen. You're Munchausen. Thinking Munchausen. Of Stockholm. That's what they call Munchausen. Stockholm. Stockholm. I was syndrome. thinking about Stockholm. And, yeah. And you know what? That was that was a joke. Yes. Trevor yeah, it's Noah. Trevor Noah? St- yeah. the, not Trevor Noah, tre- the big fella letter Kenny. K Trevor Wilson. K Trevor Wilson, Random not Trevor line. Noah. Thank you. That's his joke. Mm-hmm. I think okay. it's a great joke. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> I'm neither. Uh, okay. <laughs> any cat I've ever had came with the girl I was dating. Yeah. And now my fiance is a cat named Fred. Who oh, I do love the cat. I Fred. Fred? Fred. Oh, I like that. Frederick. Like this that makes him even better. There's a last yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's our last name. It's her last name. It's, oh, okay. Her last yeah. name is Frederick. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if we're gonna put like if we're gonna change the cat's name to Johnson. Hi, after, Maybe hi, Can we name Frederick the kid Johnson? Off Fred. Off Fred. Off Fred. All Fred. No, off Fred. Oh, yeah, it's a handmaid's tale. No. Oh, yeah. I said we were in the bay the other day, my fiance and I, and I, I piled up a dress. And <laughs> I go, big. this dress is like from that show that you watch, you know, where the women don't have any rights. <laughs> oh, <so laughs> I actually put it in tail. And like You're yelling 60 this out. women in the bay all stopped and started laughing. Oh it was the best God. applause break I've gotten in a long time. <laughs> and everyone started laughing. The cashier put, what she was like mid scan and she looked over oh. and then one of the ladies was like, do you mean a handmaid's tail? I go, that's yes. it. I'm That's the best the person one. to go to the mall with Off or in a store. Yeah? I'm just doing crowd work. You should see me in an elevator. I'd oh, yell. I would love to see that. You're just yeah. working, you're working material, aren't you? Yeah. Right yeah. now I'm not, but this is probably going to turn into something. I'm no, it's going right. to be yeah. like that late night show with all the comics where all they do is their bits. They just riff. Um, so how old are you? 32. 32. And when's your birthday? July 11th. I'm July 21st. Ooh, day after cancer. my dad died, but cancer. Ooh, day after your dad died? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, he died July 20th. That's, you want to talk about it? This is the show. We're talking about our traumas. I did talk Who about was, okay, wait, wait, sorry. Program. Let's get into that, but wait. <laughs> um, I mean. <laughs> Let's get into your dead dad, everybody. No, it's a big part no, of my brand. My dad no, died. No, uh, no, it's a big no. part okay, of my brand. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of jokes about that one. I just use it, uh, my trauma to make me happy. Anyways, sorry, go ahead. Do you feel like you're a true cancer? Yes, I'm emotional. Care about my friends, family. Uh, I'm you're a loyal highly as reactive, fuck. loyal as fuck. But do you feel like you're oversensitive? And I really don't like yes. that they bring that in. But but that's fine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She's yeah. seen me get in a fight with my fiance. I, I cried this morning over something. <laughs> I don't care. Oh my god. Let's get into how you became a comic. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I'll give like a short answer because yeah. like I, be I was saying before, I do so many of these like motivational podcasts, like chase yeah. your dreams. Um, this isn't that type <laughs> of thing. No, no. <laughs> that, which I'm I do. Here. I love yeah, to encourage no, people to yeah, chase your yeah. dreams. I'm literally proof of what happens when you chase your dreams. I think we'll, yeah. we'll, we can get you back for like a motivational podcast. Yeah, we'll have like a just one camera. Yeah. Larry will be in the parking lot. Tony <laughs> Robbins will be here. It'll be great. <laughs> and uh, it'll just be me, you, and a cam. Us three and yeah. a cam. Yeah. Um, but all of our life wisdom. Not today. Yeah. Um, no, so I started November 1st, 2010. I've been doing it for just over 12 years. That's amazing. I signed up for an open mic in Vancouver. I was living there, going to the Vancouver Film School at the time. And How'd you like that? How'd you like the people out there? <laughs> <laughs> the I show love- isn't syndicated. Yeah. Almost. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. We don't get out that far. Uh, they know who they are. Uh, no, listen, I love Vancouver. I think it's beautiful. I think, I think it's a beautiful city, but people are just too... I don't want to say woke because woke didn't exist in 2010, but they're yeah. too like everything's slow. 
Yeah. Like I'm Hamilton. Like let's keep it moving here. Yeah. Like, you go to Tim Hortons, I'll have a medium regular. If I don't have that in 30 seconds, somebody's in trouble. Right. You know what I mean? You go to Vancouver, we used to go to this coffee shop by my school called Waves. And you would walk in and they go like, hey dude, what's going on? And I'm like, hey man, can I get a coffee? Just drip one, one, one cream, one sugar. Yeah, yeah, right on. And then the guy fucks off for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Comes back, he's like, hey, man, what can I get you? I'm like, I told you. Oh, my God. A drip coffee. Anyways, it was so, everyone's encouraging you to go for hikes. Mm, that's like that. Everybody, everybody, everybody Are walks. you not a hiker? Walk the seawall. You want to go walk the seawall? <laughs> At which part do you think these leather Chelsea boots go hiking? <laughs> yeah, you do. I, uh, my, actually, my fiance is making me do hikes, and it's okay. Like Jana. I, Jana. Like, she's like a p- real person who does things, and I'm just like, I do comedy, and relax Sounds while right. I'm not doing comedy and traveling but she does push me out of my comfort zone and we have gone on a couple hikes some of them were fucking brutal yeah. and one of them, I like I literally fell oh, no. and my entire back was just soaked in mud and oh. I was like this sucks um, but other times I, we saw like beautiful waterfalls and stuff so you know you do those and you like it's one of those things where you're like I'm not fucking doing that and then you do it and you're like that wasn't that bad you right. know what I mean yeah 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 uh, but everyone like in Vancouver is like let's do the grouse grind no. Which is like a hike up the Grouse Mountain that oh, takes okay. like it takes people challenge each other who can get up the mountain the oh, quickest. That sounds and terrible. And like the world record is like 15 minutes. It would take me literally three hours. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, just oh, cardio. Right, um, right, right. But yeah, I, I love. So how you got into? So anyways, back to Vancouver. Yeah. So you asked me these secondary I know, questions. Like I know. I know. Because my brain goes like 18 things. Same. Sorry. Is that a cancer thing? I don't Probably. Know. Um, no, I, I, uh, I started doing, I signed up for, an, like, I've always been interested in comedy. My dad was a professional wrestler. He was a, also a comedian, not stand-up comic, but he's a comedic actor. Cool. He was on the show uh, Bizarre in the 1970s with John Biner for the older heads who know what that is. Um, anyways, he was like the show that started Super Dave Osborne and all that kind of stuff. You know that? Anyways. Okay. Not Super Dave. <sighs> Super okay. Dave. So I was always around comedy, big fan of comedy, always wanted to get into stand-up. Unfortunately, in Hamilton, there was no scene at all in mm. the early 2009s. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so how old are you? That's 12 years ago. Okay, so you were so like I was 30. 20. I was 20, 20. when I did my yeah. first ever stand-up set. My math is so about the good. time to start okay. stand-up. <laughs> That's a good time to start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you're, you're out of college. I, I dropped out of Humber. Um, See old Chappelle, old Eddie Murphy. They're all like 18, yeah, 19, yeah, 20. Yeah. Right? So they, they say in comedy, it takes 15 years to make an overnight success. So mm. if I break at 35, that's a good time. God, it's a good thing we're getting you on now. Yeah, you talked me into coming into this beautiful location on James Street. Right? I was going to shit talk about it. It's very nice. It's um, very nice. I like ex- as a comic, I love a good exposed brick wall. Yeah. Anyways, I signed up for I know, that's why we. That's why we got it vibes? Light it up. Yes, it's yeah. very good. Um, okay, sorry. I, so, st- I signed I up for my first open mic. I kind of lied a little bit and told them that I was already a comic. Nice. Like I went to a show with Michael Moses, who I'm going to see tonight. He's back in town. Him and I started together. Um, and... Basically, I, he said, come watch the show. I said, I've loved stand-up comedy. I always wanted to, you know, do stand-up comedy. I never knew how. I used to go to the Yuck Yucks in Toronto, just sit there and, like, try to, like, get heckled so I have a response. <laughs> Sounds uh, good. I thought I was funny, which people still do to this day, try to do to me sometimes, That's which I don't, I, don't do, I don't do crowd work, so it never really works for me currently. Anyways, I wanted to get into it, and uh, I went and watched the show, and I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Nice. And I went and signed up. I said, my name's Eric. I'm a comic from Toronto. I just moved to Vancouver, just looking for some stage time. He mm-hmm. was like, who do you know? What have you done? I go, I've done this. I've done that. Because I knew some of the comedy clubs in Toronto. And I said, I'm friends with this guy, friends with this guy. So guys who I met through acting and stuff. I've been an actor since I was like six. Anyways, he was Not like, like, okay, come back next week. You can do seven minutes. Nice. And I literally signed up and I have not stopped since November 1st, 2010. Wow. Even through the pandemic, I did backyard shows and I did a brewery tour. Um, I, I probably do 200 shows a year. I've toured all wow. over North America. Holy. Oh, I've performed at the Laugh Factory, the Comedy Store, I've opened for Russell Peters, I've opened yes. for Sebastian Maniscalco. Did you get to meet him? Yeah, Either yeah, of them? Yeah, both of them. Yeah, yeah. That's How was, question. yeah. Shoot. Fast question. When it comes to doing like, <clears throat> I, want, I want to say this respectfully. Here it comes. No, no. no. What it, it's about. It's about your content. Like, yeah. I, like I get. If you're a big, you know, a Sebastian Maniscalco, you just brought the name. You got your Netflix special. If you go out and do the smaller, you know, places like the smaller clubs and mm-hmm. things like that, you're maybe not necessarily using all that content for such a yourself. Do you find that you're changing kind of the jokes you're saying all the time, or working new material, working things well, out, or do you find like a good rhythm and then you just test the shit out of that? Out good of question. Uh, so when you're building an act, like yeah. I, again, I've been doing it 12 years, so I I yeah. built what is now an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. With another probably 
45 minutes of stuff that I have that's solid that I just don't do. Mm. Um, so I probably have after 12 years, I probably I could probably do two hours. Okay. Like if someone called from the Sony set and we go, Eric, we need to fill yeah. two yeah. hours. I yeah. go, okay, let's, what time's the show? And I have it all, you know, mm. I could just keep going. Um, what I, cause I'm a touring headliner at this point, I'm doing an hour a night. Okay. Every one of my shows is an hour, at least. If it's like, if I'm killing, I'll do like yeah. a buck 15. Okay. The most I ever did was 90 minutes. I did that twice. I did once in Saskatchewan, once in Cape Breton. Cause both those places were just like so appreciative of the show mm -hmm. that I, every time I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys one more thing and I get out of here. They're like, no, okay, yeah. keep going. Yeah, and you're <laughs> and like, all right, they asked for it. I was like joking with them like, well, you guys better buy some merch after the show. And both of those shows were like my biggest merch Amazing. nights ever. Amazing. Um, but, uh, when I have a new piece of material, I'll work it somewhere in the middle of the show because I know like, um, you know, like a machine gunner, I have full clips of ammunition that I know is tried, tested yeah. and true yeah. killer material. So like sometimes in the middle, I'll try something and it usually works because I've never tell the audience, hey, this is a new bit. Mm. I just make it. So then they're like not like skeptical. Like, yeah, no, we'll decide yeah. on that. I, like, <laughs> I, I barely do even any open mics. I work, I work out my show on the road. On the, yeah. Okay. So I will load in like a new bit in the middle of the show and make it feel like it's the rest of the show. And then if it works, it stays. If it doesn't work, it goes. It's really how I'll do it like 10 times on a tour. Um, and if it works 10 out of 10 times, it stays in the show. If it doesn't work, I just, I go, oh, it's not mm -hmm. working. Uh, there's some bits that I know are have in the industry we call it has legs. I'll be like, oh, I know this bit has legs, but I haven't quite found yeah. out a way how to word it yet that mm. really works. So um, that's where I kind of put together new material. And then after that, I just do the show. Like the show is the show is the show. I tell people I'm like a band. I'm doing the same songs every single night. Well, because it's like a performance, right? Of course, yeah. And it's, it's, you, the more you do it, the more you're like, oh, I nailed that line. I'm gonna yeah. like learn it's from that. It's the purest form of performance. Yeah. Because it's just me in a microphone. I don't have a backing yeah. band. I don't have like <laughs> somebody to one riff on one. off yeah, of. It's one on one. Yeah. I just have me and my ideas. And if you, if and the and comedy is the, also the purest form of justice. Either they, either they laughed or they yeah. didn't. There's no like, well, maybe a little great. No, it was either funny or it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Cut uh, back in. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, anyways, that, hey. that was so good. <laughs> no one said it. Hey, no, we're just laughing for uh, no reason. Okay, uh, anyways, we're back. No, um, but um, but just in, in terms of talking about like your content and stuff, and you know, coming up with new material and everything. Do you ever do you ever test new material out at one of these places you think is like this is gonna just kill? And it doesn't, mm -hmm. and then just go fuck it. It was the audience. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like another I used to place. Do this bit, I've actually since abandoned it because it was so not my voice. It was almost like a stoner bit. But I used to do this bit that I really believed in that never got a fucking <laughs> laugh. And like again, you guys would have to see me, and I'm not bragging in a in a way that I'm the greatest comic of all time. But I've been fucking killing everywhere I go because again, 12 years, an hour a night. I'm doing Halifax to Vancouver couple times a year I'm doing Chicago I'm doing New York I'm doing anything so by now my my, my hours is very fucking polished yeah. right but I was kept sliding this new bit in because I lost my car keys and it made me write this khakis, bit khakis uh, in Boston um, yes. but I wrote this bit about how technology has advanced so much in every aspect of our life yeah. but we still have to carry around these little metal sticks with teeth in them and if we lose them our wow. life is fucking over. Yeah, yeah. And like people were like, well, yeah, well, what about, uh, you know, key fobs? I go, yeah, when that battery dies, you better hope there's a fucking key inside that thing. Yeah. I used to do this whole bit about how um, locksmiths are the only smiths that still exist. Mm. <laughs> and I wrote this whole, like, almost like joke that was like very stoner-esque. And it was so not my voice that people, it was so jarring from the rest of the show that it would never land and i'm like don't you guys fucking get this it's keys <laughs> everyone has keys here and then and then it's and it really just stopped it didn't really ever work and i was like well fuck it then i guess no. i'm not doing that but i actually gave it to another comic i go this is more your style I'll take my keys mm. man. And i don't even know if he does it but oh. anyways but yeah that's the only real time i mean when you, you first start you? do you think like 
in the nice do you think it was like it wasn't part it was of like my delivery yeah, because like i'm a high energy storyteller that tells yeah. stories about my life my family my dad my fiance my my upbringing my growing up in hamilton i'm like a, i'm like almost like a dane cook or i'm like a high yeah, yeah. energy storyteller yeah. right. i've seen i've seen your stuff and yeah i get that that dane yeah cook like i energy when dane cook that, hit yeah. i was 16. that's yeah. the most influential part of your fucking yeah, yeah, life yeah. Yeah. in terms of comedy right so yeah. people often you know compare me to dane no cook onion. and or Sebastian Maniscalco yeah, or yeah. whatever. You're very animated. It's, yeah, and I love that. That's how I tell because well. I grew up doing competitive yeah. dance and fucking musical theater Which and stuff like I that. I need theater. to tap into that after, We'll get there. Um, <laughs> so you're physical comic. Yeah, I'm a physical comic. Yeah. And then that bit was so like, now let's slow it down and talk about car keys. Yeah. That it was just so it's not, not you. It's not me. Not, and I was yeah. trying to make it me. I was doing like these full like locksmith act outs and stuff. <laughs> And it just Full wasn't, it just Smith. wasn't fucking working. And I was like, God it was a good damn joke. this bit. It just yeah. wasn't a good joke It's his good you. premise. It was a good yeah. premise. It just, I couldn't find it's a way to deliver it. It's a sitcom when you write for them one day. Kind yeah, of. yeah, I was yeah. like, what about do a bit about car keys? But yeah. when you first started, you're really trying to, you're trying anything really to yeah. find your voice in yeah. comedy. It takes like five, six years to really find your voice. And what a lot of comics do when they first start is they start writing extremely dirty. Mm -hmm. That's why when you go to an open mic, everyone is like disgusting. Like they have the worst yeah, bits yeah, yeah. about blowjobs and anal sex or whatever. I don't know how much of that have to be, but um, you're, and you're just watching and they don't know how Larry's to- Larry's used to this talk. Yeah, they don't know how to be funny yet. Yeah. So it's just like- Crude, they're crude. It's like crude funny. without humor and it's like racist without a point. Not that racism should ever have a point, but I mean, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> I believe that anything could be funny if you know how to deliver it. Yeah. And these guys just have no idea how to deliver shock it. Shock value. And it's just, they're getting, exactly. They're getting a shock laugh. Yeah. And the audience, like the audience is going like, ha ha ha. I'm uncomfortable. Yes. Yes. And the uh, and the co young comics does has no stage awareness yet and goes, I killed tonight. Yeah. Do you hear all those people laughing out there? I was killing. It's like you were bombing. Oh. You were just making people feel uncomfortable, so they were yeah. laughing. Anyway, so I even I fell victim to that when I first started. I used to do this whole bit about like squirters. Which squirters. I, squirters. Oh wow. Have and you it's so I look that? Yeah, well yeah, yeah. Okay. But I look back on it and I look, oh my god. That's so not me, but yeah. I was just, I, I was like two years into comedy and the, uh, the very premise of the joke is I was so afraid of my mom that I would eat Nature Valley Crunch Bars over the sink because <laughs> they're so crumbly. Yeah. And then I do this whole bit about hooking up with a squirter and the girl squirting and my mom yells over the sink. Oh. And it was like this old stupid bit that I did when my, like my first two years of comedy and it would get laughs. But I look back on it now and I'm like, huh, like that's so not me. I have jokes about like falling in love now. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, I'm just completely different dude. So but my material is like completely that's, different. That's like the steps you have to go through. You have I'm to. I'm like trying this and trying that. Like it's the same with like what I'm, I mean, what I do. You know, when I started in my whole like social media life and like this whole thing, I was like, I'm gonna be a foodie. And like I did that and like that was my main gig. And yeah. then I was like, you're every step or everything you do, you're kind of like honing in more on like what's you and what's most authentic. Well, you find your voice quite yeah. literally. And I mean, I could imagine that because I watched the two of you guys banter even off the start of the show. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to agree. I do think that cheesecake is a little bit very, it's a little pie-ish. Like if you were to have like a key lime pie. Right? Or even a pumpkin pie, because a pumpkin pie does not have a top that, crust. Right, but cheesecake has a crust as well. Has a crust. What's the difference between a cake or a pie? I feel like when I think More cake, dense. when dense I think cake, pie? I think like Fluffy. cutting into like a rainbow yeah. or a chocolate cake that has like the air the bubbles bread. and bread in it. Whereas a cheesecake, although it says cake, you would almost call it like a a cream cheese pie. Yeah. You know what? You know Thank what? Thank you. I'm going to change my opinion because I've answered your question that you didn't have an answer to, but I figured it out. What? A cake has layers. A pie does not. A pie is crust filling. Not all. Pies I don't want to go against filling. what I'm Do you have a triple layer pie? What's a triple layer pie? Double layer pie. Mm. Oh, are you talking pies don't I'm have saying layers? saying cheesecake layers. is the same as a pie. It is or, it is crust cake and then filling. 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 Whereas cakes, you just because you, you're from here, Layers. I'm pretty brilliant. Things. Like an ice cream cake at Dairy Queen. Layers. Any cake is layers. Mm. You never, a cake isn't just like, it's a, it's a it's single, a pie. like a bunt cake. It should be a cheese pie. Yeah. So my well, point is, you guys start yeah. with your little, sorry, you're, yeah. you're, you're, sorry. So before I was, bring it back. before I was really <laughs> cut off by the host of the show, <laughs> uh, the show. 
Wait, what I'm saying I'm not... is you guys probably, you've been together how long? 16 years, you said? 15. 15, 15 years. Yeah. So my fiance and I are only together two years. We're still working Eight. out how, how we banter. Oh, no, like yeah. sometimes I take it too far, then she's mad, and yeah, then yeah, she's yeah. It's a lot. distant for 24 hours. Um, <laughs> and you're crying. Uh, yeah, you're crying. I, I cry because I'm a kid. <laughs> and so we're still, like, you guys have banter, and I'm sure with your group of friends, you guys have this banter. Yeah. And you literally said to yourself, this should be the show. And now this is the show. And yeah. you guys have found that voice. And even today, before we yeah. started the show, you were moving the cameras around a little bit. This now may be the official camera position. You're still finding yes. that yeah. voice of the show, yeah. which is the most exciting thing. Yeah. You know, I, I've kind of settled into who I am. And I just write jokes as Eric Johnson in Eric Johnson's voice. It's kind of not boring. I still love writing a new bit, but it's kind of like, I know how I would say this on stage because I've developed a style and a voice. Mm. I'm com I can just ride this yeah. forever. But isn't that easier now that you know that? It's easier and it's harder because there's such, I have such great bits that exist already that new bits are under extreme amount of pressure. Right, right, right. To be as good as the old ones where I, but the new bits I'm doing, I'm closing with my new bits, which is an extremely ballsy mm. thing to do. All like my closer in its entirety is less than a year old. Whereas usually your closer is usually your strongest piece of material. Yeah, yeah. I used to close mm -hmm. with a bit about the difference between girls blacking out and guys blacking out, which was a joke that's on my YouTube. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Girls care. The difference between the girls yeah. gay yeah. and blah, blah, yeah, yeah. is the girls care. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, we yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, bit. Yeah. Which is so true. That used so to be. accurate. If yeah. you haven't seen the bit. You have to go see YouTube it. YouTube search. The, it's Spot on. Eric with a C, Johnston with a T, if you're looking for don't me. Don't worry. Yeah. You will find him all over. Link, link suck below. Each other when they're drunk. Yeah, they you just leave them, right? Fuck you. Anyways, buddy. I used to close yeah. with that bit, and that was like a 15 minute closer. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, my name's Eric Johnson. Have a good night. Yeah. It was getting not easy because it's not comedy is never easy, but it was getting a little rudimentary. It was getting a little okay. like, okay, and now here's the closer. Okay. Now my closer is all this stuff about Jana and I. We've only, we've been only been together for like eighteen months. And I feel, that's like she so loves all the bits now, like yeah, material. because it's my it's my current life. Yeah. Like I, I'm doing yeah. a new bit and I won't kill too much of the bit, but I'm doing a new bit that I'm closing with as part of multiple jokes in a closer where. Um, and I'm sure you guys experience this as a couple, long-term couple is, you know, and when you're in a long-term couple, you, sometimes you want to get in a fight and sometimes you end up in a fight by accident. Okay. And I go, sometimes you want to get in a fight. Yeah. You've both had a long week and you're, 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 you both want to blow off some steam. So you're just circling each other in the kitchen, <laughs> like two fucking hockey players, just shaking your mitts. Like if yeah. you want one, I'll fucking give you one right yeah, fucking yeah. now. You want to go? Let's go. I do this whole hockey player act out. I'll yeah. fucking go. I'll yeah. give you a fucking tilt right now if you want to go. <laughs> Babe, you want to yeah. fucking do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I literally say to Janice sometimes, if you want to have one, I'll give you one right yeah. now. Cause I can tell she's just priming me for a yeah. fight. But then, uh, <laughs> oh, we're yeah, there, we? but sometimes yeah. it's like a war movie where the guys are sitting around talking and then the grenade goes off and it's like and I was like what the fuck's going on yes. and I, I, I the new joke is that because we have this bit I'm sure you guys have bits that you do as a couple but we have a bit called Yura and the, it, you know bits that you make each other laugh mm -hmm. so I have a new bit that I'm doing where Liquor. It's it's called oh, even lower. Well, yes. Yeah, so, so you guys have bits, right? And every couple has a bit that make each other laugh, and it can be so silly. Yeah. So we have a thing called Yura, and it's so stupid, but it got me in a huge fight in the Bahamas. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, the idea is Yura, like, so if we're sitting on the couch and, watch, and watching a movie, and she has the popcorn, I'll go pass me that bowl of popcorn. She go Yura bowl of popcorn. Ah. It's just you add Everyone. Yura yeah. to anything, yeah. and it and it makes us laugh every single time. It's so fucking <laughs> stupid. So we went down to the Bahamas and I brought my own iron with me because I'm a metrosexual yeah. and I don't trust hotel you're irons. Cause you don't, yeah, oh, they ruined me. Every shirt. On. Yeah. Hotel irons. I, I, I ironed a white shirt once and just brown shit yes. streak down the whole shirt. What are people doing I'm like, with never, irons? never again. So everywhere I go, I bring my own yes. iron. Yes. Good call. We get to the Bahamas. I unzip the bag. I, she sees that my bring, bring my iron and she goes, why would you bring your iron? It's such a waste of space. And I went, you're a waste of space. Oh. Oh. And it oh. turned into a full oh. blown tilt. Well, this was the day of traveling? We, yeah, after a day of traveling, we were on a plane, Bad whatever. Oh. We're just getting to the thing. So anyways, I wrote a whole joke about it. And then the punchline of the joke is, and then I walked home from the fucking Bahamas. <laughs> and then it goes into this next bit. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. That joke is, we only went to the Bahamas like a month ago. Yeah. And it's part of my closer now. Nice. So I get excited still in working new 
Yeah. But I do have signature bits that people expect me to do. Like I have a joke about the TV show Art Attack that okay. I wa watched Art growing Attack. up as a kid, yes, right? Art Attack. If I don't, if I don't do that joke, people are like, "What the fuck?" Who's Art Attack? You didn't do the Art Attack bit. And I'm like, yeah. I've been doing it for six fucking years. I'm chained to this. Well, bit. because that's what happened with Bert. Well, that's what I was. Well, the machine. I was going to say okay. he has to do the machine. Yeah, we went to no, the Bert Kreischer like, show. Like, yeah. No, but we went to the Burke Kreischer stand-up show, and like he does a bunch of material we hadn't heard before, and some stuff, and it was all great and funny. And then he ends with the standard that if you watched any Burke Kreischer stand-up, he goes, "When I was 22, I got into it with the Russian mafia." Yeah, yeah. Me, And I immediately went, "I'm okay. going to the bathroom." Yeah, let's go. It was like time, time to, to go. go. Yeah. Well, I'll call you. I did. I was standing go. at the door. Because yeah. hey, listen, when you do a bit too long, like it's so the difference between music and comedy is a band will put together an album and then tour that exact album. If me as a comic puts up a stand-up stand special, I have to burn that entire stand-up special. Yeah. And I cannot do it live because people, if they see the joke on Netflix and I do it live, they go, oh, I fucking saw that already. So you need true. to come yeah. up with something new. Because the illusion of stand-up comedy, it's almost like a circus act where you think the guy's going to get eaten by a lion. The whole idea is that they think that I'm coming up with it on the spot. Right, you know? right, right. The whole illusion. Like, oh, uh, looking at yeah, oh, speaking of which, yeah. you know, they hear comics yeah. say, oh, the other day I was yeah, doing this. Yeah, always, it wasn't yeah. the other day. It was Last two week. fucking yeah. years ago. <laughs> yeah. And you, you've been doing the joke every yeah. night yeah. for two yeah. years. It may have started as, oh, just the other day this happened. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, that's kind of where the material comes in of like, ooh, I get excited about writing a new piece. Hmm. Someone doing some woodworking someone's in here? Doing, I thought it was someone's phone or it was oh, your sorry. ass cheeks. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh. Wouldn't have noticed the upstairs people are pissed up, and now they're fucking cutting down the walls. Okay, so the Untouchable Comedy Tour. Yes. How are things going? Are you <laughs> loving your life? Yeah, so I just, all my tours are called something to do with a bull, my, like a bull, B-U-L-L. -L. Um, Why is that? Because my father was a professional wrestler and his name was Bull Whip. And my oh. grandfather was a professional wrestler by the name of The Bull. So all my- My dad's nickname is The Bull. What? The Bull. That Bull? Was his thing, That's yeah. my grandfather's. Ah. People never call, my grandfather's real name was Ronald. Love I that. never referred, had anyone in my life ever call him Ronald. Everyone yeah. called him Bull or the old Bull or the Bull <laughs> uh, or Bull Johnson or whatever. So I've leaned into The Bull as a, a branding kind of thing. Ah. I have Bull necklaces. I have a bull tattooed on my shoulder. Uh, it's all Eric Johnston, Untouchable. My last mm -hmm. tour was Run With The Bull. Ah. I did a special called No Bull. Um, I'm really lean, I'm synonymous with an animal at this point. Okay. Like people will go on vacation and see a bull like in a field and take a picture of it and send it to me. <laughs> go, I was thinking about you. I go, see, I connected to nice. an animal. Um, so this one's called Untouchable. Um, oh, okay, I get it. I'll touch a B U L L. All right, um, and it's going across Canada, the United States. I started in the fall, and it's going to go all the way to the spring, and then I'm, I'm pulling off the road in May because I'm getting married at the end of May. Woo! Um, so Congrats! I'm gonna, thank you. I'm going to go get some, make a bunch of money to pay for, pay for the wedding, Jenna Lee. Um, and uh, yeah, it's sorry. Going... The reason why I'm saying that is because I was trying to remember her name. Jenna. Jenna. Yeah, she's, she's not. Like she's now, in the house when you fight. say Jenna like that, she's like people picture she's built like Miss Trenchbull or something. Oh no, Jenna. I know. I've uh, looked no. her up. She's not anywhere <laughs> near <laughs> that. Like Although she dressed like she she's dressed a very like lovely Miss lady. Trenchbull for Halloween. Looks like a very lovely lady. Yeah, she's the best. Um, we get in our fights and I stick around, so she must be good. She must be. Any good. other one I used to fight with? <laughs> See you later. Um, but anyways. So yeah, it's called the Untouchable Comedy Tour. It's going all across North America. It's cool. going into Chicago, New Jersey, Florida, uh, Cayman Islands. Amazing. Um, Cayman Islands. All of Canada again. I'm going to go from Cape Breton. I'm going to try to fly as much as this tour as I can. Yeah. Um, but I like to drive. I was just, uh, you know, saying that I just rode off a car that had 75,000 kilometers on Shit. it. Um, that I put on in 18 months. Wow. Some people don't drive 75,000 kilometers in their Five life. Five years. It lit you, life. Yeah, exactly. Forty thousand on my truck. I bought it in twenty nineteen. Yeah, no, yeah. it's I, I, it's insane how much I drive. Like so, I just drove from Halifax to Vancouver. Oh, by car, by yourself. By myself. That's literally ocean, to ocean. Oh. I, I, I have a video on my Instagram of me touching the Atlantic and then touching the Pacific a oh month God. later. Wow. So it's a lot, but I love it. I love the road. I'm a product of the road. Again, with my dad and grandfather, professional yeah. wrestlers, they yeah. lived on the road. Used to be I am, I am like a they in the industry is called a wheel man. I'm a fucking wheel man. Like I, 
I live on the road and I love it. I, I know how to check into hotels perfectly. I know how to check yeah. into hotels perfectly. I know how to get upgrades in hotels. I know how to get hey, fucking. I got a question security. for you. As a comic who's out on the road all the time, I heard, I think it was Jerry Seinfeld and Chris Rock talking about this once. Mm -hmm. you, ever, you ever stumble back to your hotel room at night and see a little that uh, someone left their food out in the in the hall? And I've thought about it. I have so, once recently. Wait, what? Like someone Seinfeld like leaves their food. Leaves, yeah, somebody leave, pull out their thing. The fries are still there. You're a broke. Of, you're a broke comic. You're coming back from the show, and there's people leaving full food yeah. on their in their uh -huh. hallways after they're done with their room service. I thought about it a couple times. One time, I saw a perfectly perfect bowl of mac and cheese. Not touched. Not touched. Okay. It still had the crumble on okay. top of it, and I was like. Oh, and I, I was wasted. It was like two o'clock yeah, in the morning. Yeah. I was in like Calgary or something. And it's like someone ordered mac and cheese, ate all their other yeah. shit, and then didn't come to wow. mac and cheese and just put it in the hallway. And I was like, literally, like. And then I was like, no, I'm a garbage man. I'd be, a, I'm a garbage man That's if I do sad. that. Yeah. And I literally, I went back to my room and I, I realized how much money I had gotten paid for the show that I just didn't. I ordered my own mac. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, yeah. it was an inspiration. You could, order, you, could yeah. order, you could order the hot mac and cheese. Yes, it was coming in. It wasn't yeah, maybe someone had spit on it. You know what I mean? Um. So during your long car rides, <laughs> what are you listening to? So I was a big. Do you ever listen to yourself? Not stand up. I will listen to myself on podcasts sometimes because mm. I've tried because I, I do a lot of podcasts. Uh, I like to be a guest on podcasts. I don't have my own podcast. I like to guest. Mm. Um, and I try not to say the same stories twice. Yeah. Okay. So I always Very listen back nice. to see what I talk about. Yeah. And sometimes I'll even fucking motivate myself where I'm like, that's good. <laughs> like, I, did, like, I said good that. Good for you. Yeah. And then sometimes I'll be talking about something that like even to, like today when we look back on this, I'll go, oh, there's a bit in there that's funny. Or like, oh, that was funny. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, that, yeah. and it kind of goes discover, into the... You discover routines in your podcast sometimes? Podcasts and just in life in general. Yeah, I yeah. think, you know, uh, you have to have that third eye. You know, like, all the hippies are talking about opening their third eye. Is that um, their butthole? I, oh, yeah, I think so. Or I their... their, is, their, yeah. their, their not uh, their, that close. Their, uh, their, what's that called? Their, killed, killed them. them. <laughs> there you go, sorry. Another sorry. Bit. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, no, it, that, that third eye is a comedy eye. And okay. I can even be in a fight with my fiance, and it's terrible as I'm in the Thank moment, you. but there's a comedy eye going on. That's like, me now, ooh, too, actually. So dangerous. That's good. It's yeah, so dangerous. Yeah, I might keep Don't that say one. that. Don't yeah. say that. Hold that guy. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. It's their parents. Like, oh, We've been in fights where I'm like, after the fight's all said, I go, I'm sorry that happened, but I'm telling you right now, that's yeah. going to my show. We got in a fight recently. Yeah. I haven't written a joke about this, so I'm not pitch. I'm pitching the idea of a joke is women. Hold on. She already hates it. Hold Every on. Every woman in the audience is going to say that. <laughs> but then you have to You'll say appreciate that. this. I will. You'll hate this. We okay. just lost a light. Uh, but that's okay. We lost a light. We lost a light. Hold on. I'll stop okay. at women. Come on in, Lair. It's okay. It's okay. No, we lost the light. We lost the light. As soon as I said women, though, the car I'm glad it cut out because you We're said that. We're turning shit off. Lights are off. Lights are It's okay. The men buy the tickets. Yeah. <laughs> and then the light oh, shut fuck. off. I was like, thank God. That was, that was Satan telling me to stop. This is so strange. I do like the red brick yeah. though. I'm glad So, this is, not, this is not a joke yet, but this is something that I've experienced recently with my fiance, and I want to turn it into a joke. And I told Jan I'm going to turn this into a joke. I just haven't found the word for it. So, Women, yeah. you're one, you'll appreciate okay. this. Women will tell you that something needs to be done and then you'll agree to it and then they'll continue to list all of the reasons why <laughs> it needs to be done. 100%. Couple, like a month ago, we still hadn't done the, like rake the leaves in the, in the, on the yard because it hadn't snowed yet and I was on the road doing something and there were still leaves and I thought, fuck it, it's windy, who cares? I saw a, thing, a TikTok that leaves are actual, a natural like uh, nutrient yeah, for the grass. Yeah, well, for sure. We'd be on that train if we had So a she, she said to me, we need to rake the leaves tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, let's do it. Boom, that should have been it. She's like, because we need to rake them. Because if we don't rake the, we don't leave or rake rake the leaves, they ruin the grass. And I went, okay, so, I, I hear you. She goes, but then they blow all over the yard, and then they get piled up in the corner. This is what he says to me. And I'm like, stop over. Like I, I've already made the sale. I, I go, shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, okay, I understand. And then sometimes they get put up underneath the trees. We have these like little smoke bushes. They get <laughs> under the smoke bushes, and then they kill the lower roots of the smoke bushes, and then the tree will die. And I go, all right. Oh, let's rake the leaves. And she's like, I just feel like you don't appreciate the gravity of needing to rake the leaves. I agree. And I was like, I already said yes. Yeah. And it 
this is where the fight happened and then it turned oh into a, almost a full-blown domestic about how I don't listen to her and I don't appreciate the house and whatever. Um, but I was like, that moment in my comedy mind's eye went, this is pretty funny. I go, I'm, and I'm sure every guy experiences this. 100%. But so, is she going to help you write the leaves? That's my question. Like when she says we. She, we, we did do it together. <laughs> but I do, I will say, right? when she, I say this How story. many times do you get this? <laughs> I know we where you're going with this. We need to build a yes. bookshelf yes. over yes. here, and we need to move the bed from this room into that room down the hall. And oh, I yeah. go, we? Yeah, we. Who's we? We Who means me. Who's we? I go, I go, I unless I, I always say to her, she goes, we got to go, we do we, and I go, who's we? I go, yeah. unless I got a mouse in my pocket, yeah. there's no we. It's no just we. me. We got to rebuild so. the fucking bedroom. <laughs> yeah. We? You, know what, you know what we need to do? I go, yeah. who's we? Because you... But I will say that as a discretion, when she watches this back, she does help a lot. We help each other. We're a power couple. We're a team. Partners. However, no, she sounds lovely. She's amazing. She's probably better than you. And she's got way more money than me, so I really got to stay in the. She's pocket. a realtor. Real estate agent, yeah, Keller Williams, mm. complete. Which nice. Keller Williams? The one on Cannon, but she's like a okay. she's like a free agent. She flies yeah, around town selling houses. Lovely. And stuff. So she's doing. It. She's a successful real estate agent in Hamilton. I gotta lower That's... my lower my voice when I speak back to her. Because I will be back at my mom's house yeah, real no time. if I keep it up. Can we please talk about your professional dance background? Sure. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, what, what? Also, it. are you a plumber? No. Oh, was that a bit? No, that was a commercial I did. U.S. Okay. Na US national commercial I did. That was hilarious, yeah, was actually. Um, no, I, uh, so as a kid, I wanted to get into performing. I didn't know how. There was, I wanted to get into comedy and so Your dad was a wrestler. Dad is a wrestler. I'm like, watching my dad perform every weekend. I want to be like him. He's my idol. He's my, you know, it's my dream. So you, took a, guy? So you took a ballet. So, <laughs> was he a big guy, your dad? 6'5", 275. Okay. Big man. Right here. So, yeah, yeah. he was, uh, he was biceps. He was all, he, him and I were built the same. Like, he just had four inches on me or, yeah. Ten. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> I'll oh, stand up hey, right he's now. The comic, okay? yeah. He tells the jokes. I was six foot one when I finished my growth spurt, and that's what my acting resume says, okay? Uh, I may have lost a half an inch <laughs> to, to scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so I wanted to be like my father and be a performer. Yep. The only thing that, the only stage I could get on locally was Rhythm Plus Dance Company in Stony Creek. And I was, I became a competitive dancer for seven years. And like performing at like the River Run Center in Guelph and the Sanderson Center in Brantford. So and like sorry, what type of dancing is tap, this? Tap, jazz, ballet, Come music the theater, on. hip hop, break dance. Uh, I've had too many cups of coffee to dance, and That's I'm wearing right. too much pleather. If I dance we'll this, whole, we'll this, whole, this whole couch is going. Right yeah, yeah. If I sneeze, right one of these buttons is going to kill Larry. Um, Come no, on. but I did, I did that, and I and I, from musical theater, I went into th regular theater. From theater, I went into film and television acting. From film and television acting, I went into stand up. Stand up is my main thing; it's my bread and butter. But I well, just booked yeah. a, a guest star role on like a major TV show for FX that I'm nice. shooting Congrats. in Calgary. Yeah, so I got to fly out to Calgary guests for we're having on here, Larry. Yeah, we're bringing top notch. It's, it's a big show. Fine. I'll tell you what show it is after the air because I'm on a publication ban right now. Until okay, the air. Yeah, you tell us, but it's on but off the air. Off it's pretty good. It's a big one. FX in a year from now, you go. I got it. I got a scene with John Ham. John oh. Ham. That's all I'm gonna tell it's you. John Ham. It's Mad Men. No, it's. I it's wish Mad it was. Man. It's Mad okay. Mad Men 2.0. Uh, no, but um, just a commercial for that while. It's not working. So do you often <laughs> slap on a pair of tap shoes and just? So I can. So the story about that plumber dancer thing was. Uh, so I'm, as an actor, I'm always auditioning for shit, and I auditioned for this commercial for this company called Tex Now, and the commercial I wasn't right for, and I knew I wasn't right for, but somehow I got. I'm a call. gonna. I'm posting that commercial. Like Do it, it was so. And here's funny. the commercial. Everything flows, just like the dance floor. I teach dance lessons for the everyman. There it was. Uh, no, so, so that I, commercial. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, auditioned, I auditioned for this one spot. I knew I wasn't right for it, but somehow I ended up um, getting a callback. Now, this is like peak pandemic. Okay. So I have a callback, and a callback is when you meet with the director. But because it was the pandemic, we did it over Zoom. And I had a studio set up in my basement at my mom's house. And I had a like, Zoom studio with a back, back, black backdrop and whatever. And the guy says, oh, where are you coming to us from? I go, I'm actually coming to you from my, live from my mom's basement. <laughs> I go, this is next to where we keep the extra paper towels. And then that got a laugh. 
And then he said, what else you got down there? I said, I think my tap shoes are down there, down here. And he said, tap shoes. Come and I went, on. And I went, yeah. I told him the whole story. I danced competitively growing up. And he went, really? I go, yeah, I got some stupid little dancing videos on my Instagram. You should go check them out. So the director hangs up with me, goes to my Instagram, sees my wannabe Italian vibes, and then <laughs> sees the fact that I know how to dance and writes a commercial Text now, the idea of the company is that you have two numbers, AKA two personalities. You have a day job and a night job. And my day job is a plumber. My night job is a dance That's teacher. so funny. So we wrote the, we, him and I co-wrote the oh commercial together. God. I added, there's one line in the commercial where I go, uh, someone's gonna come with a problem with their taps and I gotta say shoes or bathroom. So <laughs> I, if, you watch the, if you watch the commercial, I pause like this and I like kind of like have like a death, like a dead stare. And it's because the entire crew was laughing and I was trying not to laugh because I knew that I was still on screen. Oh so if you God. look back at the commercial, I go, got a problem with the taps? You're going to say shoes or bathroom? And then I go, <laughs> it stayed in the commercial. <laughs> it's really funny. But yeah, so that, I mean, the fact that I'm a dude who's 6'1 and 240 pounds, a big dude, kind of And you're a tap jacked, dancer. And I know how you're to- You're jacked, for uh, jacked. sure. Thank you. That's now it's not just me saying it. Um, yeah. And I know how to dance is really cool. It's a big asset and stuff. And I often get big kind of burly dude roles. You're going to like watching this later, seeing yourself sitting next to me. Yes. You're going to look huge. Yeah. We both look yetch. Yetch. Stop doing the bicep push. Jeez, you're making I'm me look not. bad. I'm holding them down. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. My, geez, we're all up her body. I had a lady told me recently that I was shake, I'm shaped like a toad standing up. <laughs> <laughs> if you picture is oh, fucking hilarious. I actually know because <laughs> like I put... Michigan J Frog? Yes, well, I actually put that little guy on my stories all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's I'm you. a toad oh standing up. No. no, I'm joking. No, no. You don't like it's nice okay. Fella. I can self-deprecate. It's okay, guys. You don't have to feel bad. We'd like to have you. Kind nice of a comedian guy. thing. It's been great. Anyways, been did good. you not cover any? Is there any questions we didn't cover? Because we've been talking shit for an hour. We now. actually, it is shit with shit. we actually did very well. Mm -hmm. Um, the one thing, at, well, this is just my curiosity. Um, like, do you smoke weed or anything like that? No, it gives me panic attacks. Yeah, but I will say. I quit vaping, so I vaped nicotine, like a, like one of those stupid yeah. box of vapes for like five years. Mm. And I was heavily, was for your life? heavily addicted to it. Right. And I didn't realize that it was like giving me anxiety all day, every day. Interesting. I thought I was just crazy. I thought, oh, my life sucks and I'm just crazy. Yeah. But then I quit vaping and it was like a fucking antidepressant commercial. I haven't been anxious <laughs> in almost two years since wow. I quit vaping. So huh. now that when we go out and like, cause all my buddies are huge stoners. I often do shows where people will give me weed or they'll give me weed paraphernalia because they're like, oh, he's a comedian. I always take it and then just give it to my buddies. Yeah. But the last couple times a joint has been going around at a party, I'm like, I'll take a drag. And I do. And I feel fantastic. Really? I'm like this, I'm turning over a new weed, That's a new what weed I leaf in my life. me as well. I've been trying to yeah, so it. fun. It's great. Yeah. Just a little just hootie. Little toots. A couple. I'm trying to kill anybody. Don't yeah. even, don't even fuck I'm not trying to see the devil no, or anything. I just want to fuck fucking have a little bit. Don't even fuck with a pipe. No. Because or edibles. No. Just a little Maybe baby. You. Have, you, have, you, <laughs> have, you, have you have you tried shrooms? Never. Why are you doing Honestly. I'm a control freak. I can't let go I can't no, relinquish control to I'm a telling psychedelic. You, she loves to push shrooms. I, I'm a fucking shroom pusher. Shroom pusher. Because I'm telling you, like if you're like me and you get you used to get extreme anxiety with yeah. smoking weed, I'm telling you, shrooms, you are so Different much more experience. in control. It's yeah. not this crazy fucking shit that like, like everybody I'm not makes it up. Wow. Not, Stop no, no, no. there. No, no. <laughs> that no, 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 no. It's not like you're gonna be like, oh my god, people are gonna, you're gonna be like, oh, like this is glowing. Like just it's no. it's just an, an, an enhanced. I, 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 I would I'd be one of those guys everybody. who was a full blown yeah. shroom freak out. My cousin though, Wait, my cousin. Wait, you saw somebody have a, a shroom? I've seen it all the time. Kids, teenagers growing up in Stony Creek. All we had to do was either play music or do drugs. That's what you did in Stony Creek as a teenager. So I used to PC people freak out all the time. I was one of them. I don't know. The times I smoked weed, I'd be like, you gotta take me home. Yes. I can't breathe. Weed, like I was just saying, telling, telling Mike, sometimes if like back in the day, if I was to do that, I like need to put myself in a timeout. I'm like, I gotta fucking go. No, like one, I remember, I vividly remember as a teenager where there was like six of us <laughs> smoking, for you. smoking weed in a, in a, in a Volkswagen rabbit. 
Is that a car? That's a car. Yeah, okay. Volkswagen Rabbit. There yep. were six oh, teenagers yeah. and a rabbit, and we all smoked like weed. Back golf. We went around <laughs> in a circle, and we're all smoking weed in the car. And I had such a panic attack. I jumped out of the car, bolted, and started to climb a tree <laughs> because I felt Wait, like you were I smoking could, weed. I could breathe easier higher <laughs> up. Stroke the furry wall. <laughs> That's what I, the furry yeah, wall. I wanted to be higher up. I'm climbing a tree. The air's clear. The air's and I remember clear. I came to like kind of in the tree, and I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> I was oh like, "I shouldn't God. be up here." Uh, and then I couldn't get down because I was afraid. Anyways, Just like I that. was so traumatized by weed as a teenager because when I was a teenager, weed was just whatever people had. Totally. There was no Everyone like, was growing this it. one's an indica, sativa no. mix. This one's called blueberry, raspberry, fucking bubble Shattered gum. golden no. nuggets. No, it was literally like, I think this one's not sprayed with Windex, so let's smoke yeah. this one. Oh my God, I remember that. See? If you would get yeah. fucking crazy. 100%. And I was, I've been so traumatized by bad trips that as an adult I'm like ooh I don't know no, <laughs> like, I thought about that yeah. it was the same with me no I've thought about that alright let's all do week. shrooms let's end this show with you Larry get... you up <laughs> I have a cousin Larry's who a takes who microdoses Larry. mushrooms and she's like a that's wonderful she's like a, a like an elementary school teacher yeah. and she says it's made her job that's a what I'm thousand saying. times kids better because she colorful. teaches like grade two. Yes. Yeah. So it's just kids who are on mushrooms like they, yes. they're on mushrooms yes. mentally yes she's actually she's joining the party she said it's me. She loves her job now. I'm telling you, arts and crafts. Style. We should talk on a different situation, but I'm just saying that if you think that shrooms are not anywhere near what weed is, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I promise you. All right, let's do shrooms tonight. We just lost another light. It's probably the weed stuff. Lights Fine. around here. Anyways, it's Fuck please. the lights. No, we're gonna wrap it up. Where can people come see you on your next? show uh yeah so here, I, locally I, I i don't know when this is going to air but i will tell you that in the new year it's 2023 i'm going to be doing a cross-country canada tour nice. i know where this is a hamilton centered podcast but i'll share it and people will watch from all over because i'm semi-famous on life on the z list um but i'm always doing famous. shows go to ericjohnstonwho.com at instagram at eric johnston who it's eric with a c johnston with a t w h o um i'm touring literally everywhere like when are you going to the Cayman Islands? We're coming to that show. Yeah, we want to that one. That would be one. great. You guys should come. Yeah, to the Cayman that's the one Islands. we're coming to. Canadian family. We haven't gone on a honeymoon yet, so. When did you guys get married? Pandemic. Twenty twenty, right in the heat of October. The in the Penny. backyard. Where did you guys do it? No, we got married at a small restaurant. Dunder and Castle. People. We got married outside, and then yeah. we went to a restaurant in Burlington. What's wonderful people. Barfion. Barfion. Wonderful people. Barfion. Yeah, Spanish tapas place. Owners of Gator no. Ted's. Oh, wonderful people. Lovely. No. Lovely. Lovely. It was. It was. No, lovely. It was <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Oh, <laughs> we could only have fifty lovely. people. Only. Oh, yeah. of the That's good. So but it was the best. Jan has got me down to one hundred and forty for our wedding, which being from Stony Creek is a lot of a little for me. Like that's yeah. not a lot at all. No. Yeah. For her, that's too many. She, she, if we could have 50 people, she would love that. You would love but that. But I've, I'm part of too many people's lives. Yeah, you're to a hot not, commodity, of course. Well, life on the Z list. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, come to my shows because I have a wedding to pay for in yes. May of 2023. Yeah. Super pumped for you. Great. You got a big year ahead. Yeah. We really brought the steam out of this show right at the end. We uh, did. <laughs> That's it, everybody. <laughs> Done that. John and Ed I got to work on my finishers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is what's called a closer, and the higher energy it is, the better for the show. But we're just going to awkwardly sit here until it fades, no, we fades do to black. Tell you guys a story about when I was 22 and I got involved with the Russian mafia. I got to take my shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> I have to take my okay, shirt off. Okay, you can join that. me for our send off. Send off, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll sit, sit here. Okay, you talk amongst yourselves. Um, yeah. Get our leathers all figured out here. Me and my uh, feel like we're like uh, Captain Hook boots. Tell me more. Tell me more. Da -da 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 -da. Kaniki, okay, go ahead. Uh, until next time. What do you have in there? Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna say it. We're gonna say until next time. We'll see ya when we see ya. We're gonna say that's that together. The, that's, the that's it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Until, until next, next time. time we'll, we'll see ya when we see ya. ya. Ding. <laughs> Oh, that's banging. I'm a professional. Larry. Larry. Great job. Wrap Nailed it up, Larry.